Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to find factors and then we are going to solve this given cubic equations. And before solving these ones we need to check whether these are in a standard form. And by the way here is the cubic standard form looks like as you can see on this side. So we are in a good shape. So let's get started with our very first example. This In this cubic equation, you can see that our leading term is not one, this is three. So in order to make it one, we must divide this one by three. So that means we're gonna divide by three across the board. So once we divide it by three, our equation is gonna look like so our in this equation our leading term is now one as you can see that one now let's shift our focus on on this side look at this number on the at the very end over here negative four over three we are now looking for possible divisors are the factors of this number Thus, our possible divisors turn out to be these numbers, as you can see that one. And one more thing, I just want to remind you that uh, the highest degree of this polynomial is 3. The highest degree means, uh, 3 means that we must have at least, at most, uh, 3 solutions to this equation. Now we are going to pick three numbers among these possible divisors. If you add them, this must add up to this number 1 over 3. And if you multiply them, they must be equal to negative 4 over 3. So it will be really hard to pick this, any three numbers from here. So let me show you a super, super easy way of doing this one over here see right now this is we need to pick three numbers i want you to we're gonna manipulate this number i want you to just one over three could be written as zero plus one over three isn't it now since we need three numbers so zero this zero look at this zero zero i can write two minus two and then plus one over three bingo we got three numbers this is one and this is uh, the first one is two then negative two and positive one over three if you add them you're gonna get one over three and if you multiply them you're gonna get negative four over three thus our those three numbers that we picked are two negative two and one third now if you wanna multiply them you're gonna get this number and if you add them you're gonna get this number so that's our factor is gonna be a simply I want you to put down three parentheses since we have a three solutions I want you to put down X X and X right up here now look at this the first number is positive 2 I want you to put down positive 2 right up here the next one is negative 2 I want you to put down negative 2 and this is positive 1 over 3 I want you to put down positive 1 over 3 and now you can see this is a fraction and 3 is at the bottom over here I want you to get this 3 and move it to the front thus our our factor is going to look like x plus 2 times x minus 2 times this is going to become simply 3x plus 1. And finally our solution set is going to be simply look at these numbers positive 2, negative 2 and positive 1 third. I want you to switch their sign, change their sign. So this is going to become negative 2, this become positive 2 and this become negative 1 over 3 and that is our answer. Now let's go ahead and move on to our next example over here as you can see our leading coefficient is 4. We want to make it 1. 
So we're gonna divide this one by four. That means I'm gonna divide by four uh, across the board, all of these terms. So our new equation is gonna become, and here is our new equation and it has a leading coefficient as one. Now let's focus our attention now on the right hand side on this part over here where you see positive nine over here, the last number over here, nine over four. We are looking for the possible divisors are the factors of this number now. And here are the possible divisors that we came up with. Now the next step is we are going to pick three numbers among these possible divisors. If you add them up, it's supposed to give you this number which is negative one over four. And if you multiply them, this should give you this one. So it's gonna be really hard to pick uh, three numbers from here. Let me show you super, super easy way once again from looking at this one over here. Let me show you now. So over here, negative one over four, we're gonna tweak it a little bit. Can I write this thing? Zero minus one over four, uh, negative one over four could be written as this thing. Now I want you to look at this zero. Zero could be written as three minus three and leave this negative one over four over here. Since we needed three numbers and we figured them out, the first one is positive three, the second one is negative three, and the third one is negative one over four. So we figured out those three numbers, which are three, negative three, and negative one over four. And if you multiply them, we're gonna get this one over here. If you multiply them, you're gonna get this one. And if you add them, you're gonna get this number. Thus our factor is going to become simply, just go ahead and put down three parentheses since we picked three numbers. Okay, the first one is x, x, and x. All right, and then I want you to just look at this thing. This is a positive three, put down positive three right up here. The negative three is going to be right up here and then negative one over four is going to be right up here. Now you have to be careful over here. This is a fraction. The bottom number, the denominator is four. I want you to just move it to the front. So our, uh, our factor is gonna look like x plus three times x minus three time when you move this one on the front become 4x minus 1. And finally our solution set is going to look like simply you can see these numbers over here. So just simply change the sign and that's going to become negative 3, this become positive 3 and this negative 1 over 4 become 1 over 4. And that is our answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.